knee capacity here. Looks like we're gonna get into right. it. Starting on backs. Field makes a lot of sense as a starting matchup. It's it, this is the kind of thing where you don't, where I would say stage affects it quite a bit. Oh, both going off for the projectiles. Let's see what he gets off this. Mm -hmm. Really great forward air. And already he's got center, and now it's edge guard. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm curious to see because I saw a Swooper a little bit earlier. See if there's any sort of distinction between their two playstyles. What I saw and I really enjoyed from Swooper is that when Spacey was put off stage, he was spamming all sorts of lasers and charge shots, making it really hard for him to get back. As well as when he recovered, it made it like near impossible to cover everything. But it's looking like the uh, first step is coming from Camir. But will he be able to kill off? I feel like he's got like confidence in the matchup so far. I feel like he's been doing a lot of smart stuff, you know, utilizing drill to avoid crouch cancel. Um, like his ledge game has been pretty solid. Haven't really seen many ledge dashes so far, but um, just mm -hmm. ooh, okay. Well, <laughs> actually manages to get his shield up in time. That was a really weird situation. But can he get the edge guard? This is the kind of stuff that like is tricky. Is you can't really edge guard Tama super effectively. That should be it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was Let's incredible see. DI. He's Travioli's able to set up the bullet hell to get back a few missiles, but that's enough to care, scare Cam off the ledge. Yeah, it does catch Travioli trying to move out of shield with the up smash, which is a great call out. And now we get to see how... Ooh, ooh this is going to be a gimp. Not really a gimp of oh, Great DI yeah. to slide off there. Yeah, and there's Do the crouch cancel. Doing Samus kind of so things. characteristic of Samus. Yeah, exactly. Like, Samus, for those who don't know, is, like, one of the heavier characters in the game. And so... They're able to use crouch cancel like really, really effectively, which is what makes and then can start these zero to death combos off of stuff like down smash. So you have to be really careful. Ooh, nice drill into up smash there from Kem pushing Travioli out of the corner and into the blast zone, taking the lead there. We're probably gonna see a lot of that drill into up smash as a kill setup just because right now I'm pretty sure that up throw up air doesn't work, or at least it's like not nearly as reliable. I'm not positive on that. But it's not really a common uh, kill setup in the matchup the way it is for pretty much every other matchup <laughs> that mm. Fox has. We've seen both these players moving real, real nice. A nice edge guard just opting to give him the shoulder, even stocks up. Now he's got the charge shot on deck. Let's see what Travioli is able to get out of it. Yeah, one of the things that I would say has been kind of interesting about this matchup so far is that I would say Kem has still been quite aggressive. Will that kill? No. Mm. And normally, like, I see a lot of players opt to go a bit more defensive in this matchup just because you can kind of push your advantages, but it's cool to see this sort of aggressive style mm -hmm. just barely misses the up smash. Yeah. And we've seen Trevioli being able to recover pretty much every time he gets off stage. I'm curious to see how that adapts because although there are a so many options Samus can use to get back. If Kem's able to start to pick out which one's Travioli's leaning a little bit more towards, might be able to get even more of those. That seems like an option that should not be leaned yeah, towards. That's a really, really strange charge. S smash might have been an input error. You know, like, mm -hmm. you don't always want to evaluate what players are doing. Maybe they can make mistakes like everyone else. Or right, let's see what he All does right. here. Edge guard scenario. Okay, able to get back. Might be it. And end. yeah. yeah. So this is the kind of situation, it's not as bad as like a Jigglypuff rest situation, but you're still like, okay, just just play this smart, don't don't get crash cancelled, although obviously this percent, that's mm -hmm. not going to happen, but just get the kill. Ooh, Ooh. Really very game. heads up play by Kem there, noticing that he didn't get hit by the up B and hitting it with a fresh up smash to take game one. Oh, they're ready to go. Yeah, because I believe this, we're deep enough in the bracket, this is best of five, so Trapiola's got a lot of time to figure out, to do the classic Samus big brain and that's because Samus kind of is forced to be big brain making these high committal options because if he chooses wrong especially with something like grab that has so much end lag like you're going oh, no, to get for punished sure. for it that's the thing is it's like you really have to like find the situations I don't want to go too far with the Samus big brain <laughs> thing because I know that they Samus players love to focus on that but there, <laughs> there is truth in it that they have to have a really well-developed neutral and it's you know it's so important to find the moments that you are given and really take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, another great recovery there by Travioli. And is Trav going to take the lead hurt. here? Kem opts to go way on stage, see if we can follow him. And again, Kem kind of also getting a great mix up on his recovery, realizing how many options and how difficult it might be Sam's to cover some of these. Ooh, Ooh yeah. And a really kind of inopportune time, but it really was just the spacing. He actually was in shield. So kind of sucks but let's see how if he's able to get a lot of extra credit off this or if they close it out Ooh. yep yeah not too bad in fact even getting a free charge shot more than makes up for the 15 percent okay there's the first Ooh, <laughs> <that was good. laughs> 
Yeah, that's the first, like, up out of shield we've seen be successful from Travioli. So let's see if he continues to... Okay. I really like the chem, like you... Oh! Getting caught for it there. But I really like what you said, chem continuing to keep this heat on and playing aggressive, uh, no matter what the situation. And oh, that... for sure. And we've seen him really utilizing um, full hop really well. Like, you'll see him do a lot of full hop bears that are angled just around Samus' hitbox so that he can't really get in. Like, you'll watch the way he pressures. See there? Full hop bear... Yeah, and he's probably gonna use a full hot bear here. Yeah, see, and it it's just hard for Samus to deal with, and that that's why the stock got closed out. Rips another huff smash for the kills. Cam showing off a little bit there. He's got the tech no matter what buffer we're playing on. And ooh. Yeah, waiting for the get up attack there. Shooting just one laser for fun. Oh, go on the chase and probably wanna kill it, but yeah, this is Cam looking very confident. Yeah, really, really good at this matchup. I feel like a lot of things he's doing very, very intelligently. Like, mm -hmm. at different percents, he's doing options that make a lot of sense. Like, he'll open them up with something like a drill and get a little up smash, and then build percent with nares. Like, really the familiarity, and, you know, Travioli just doesn't seem to know how to deal with that as well. Trev's going to need to get more out of his combo game, get more of these openings. He's been in some of these charge shots, been doing some nice edge guards, but nice isn't going to be enough. And a Great down tilt. two jabs not going to do it either. Yeah, we're not seeing, like, him capitalize in the same way. And that can be a couple things. Like, you know, just um, Kem playing really safely, not creating a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. But, like, something like this should be a kill, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, not, not that it's so easy to edge guard Fox, but you just, like, really need to make the most of your openings. Ooh. That was really close. Yeah, especially with a deficit like this, you need to... Ooh! <laughs> Capitalizing like... all these. Oh my god. He goes and gets them. That's two for Kem. Needs one more to knock Travioli out of this event. We're going to see a swap? See why. Like, he, he was playing like really confidently. The Samus stuff just wasn't really working. I'm not sure Sheik will be way better, but it, it is a, you know, different, totally different matchup. Mm -hmm. Get down smash. Yeah, I'm just scared if if Kem was hitting his Samus that hard, I'm very frightened for what he's doing to his Sheik and is starting to already do to his Sheik now. Okay. Yeah, he's really, really making use of a lot of, like, really impressed with how Kem's playing just generally. Yeah, back air does get the fade back. Sheik is one of those characters that actually has pretty terrible aerial drift, so to be able to pull that off is mm -hmm. nice and to mix him up. Kem hitting those links from a... Uh... Hitting those wave shine and the up smash links really, really well. Yeah, it's definitely super good against almost every character in the game besides Spacey's and Jigglypuff. So really, really important to have uh, developed. Good down smash there. It's a great way to deal with side B. Ooh, little sketch situation for both those characters. They get out of it fine. Okay, the Travioli having spending no time getting switched over to the Sheik combos are a whole lot more there. And he's looking poised to like keep up here, Cam, in this combo game, which is going to be critical. Especially... One shift I feel like I've also noticed too is that like I feel like Cam doesn't respect Sheik as much as he respects Samus, which I don't actually think makes a ton of sense. Like <laughs> he can definitely still kill you. Like he's really pushing into situations where there could be like a gimp, and just kind of aggressively going into it. And he wasn't doing that against his Samus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ma that aggression that like. Ooh, gonna be able to get yeah. back. Yeah, but that aggression that marked his game that was really well against Samus might kind of be his downfall here against Sheik. Travioli moves Such to his first lead. Such a smart re-grab on the ledge, just calling him out. Like, didn't even back her or anything. That's mm -hmm. like, yeah, really seeing a kind of a shift in confidence here. But he does clean up the edge card. That's a weakness of mm -hmm. Sheik's generally, is the recovery. Yep, I'm, I'm really, uh, with how fast Travioli has been able to switch over to Sheik and keep this combo game fresh, definitely not one of those, I'm down 2-0, I'm just going to throw out my pocket secondary. This is a real character here from Travioli. And Kem maybe is trying to get these... Grab there. So re-grab, refresh invincibility, yeah. Alright. Trav needs something else. Or he's going to be knocked out of this event at 5th, getting some great wins and a great up smash there. But will it be enough? It was a cool Ooh. move, but it doesn't really make a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. But it still did get him the kill. Like, you usually don't get a lot out of that, but the way he DI'd, oh, great grab. Right. The stock is going to be huge. The 
biggest thing that's uh, really an issue is, okay, well, this grab is so huge because oh. the low percent that he's at right now makes it so that he doesn't have a lot of options available to him yet. Fox can basically crouch cancel the majority of Sheik's approaches mm -hmm. instead of like a couple auto cancel moves, right. but this grab's the enormous. Ah, yeah, and just talk about it a lot. The the plate of Sheik on net play or the advantage of Sheik on net play, just getting these tech chases can be a little bit more difficult and especially in these tough situations. That Good cost you. The Nair. Okay, it. it goes yes. and gets wow, them. that was incredible. Wow. That was incredible. He, one thing I'm loving so far is the way he's grabbing. He's grabbing at like really, really intelligent moments. It's like, is he gonna switch again? I feel like that. What? I, he pulls like the Mewtwo King, which is win with a character and switch. If he if he wins with three different characters, we get some squad strike going on here. I have the utmost respect for Travioli. I'm. Oh, he's, he's oh, moving. What? He's freaking moving, and like not only that, but some of the stuff that he was doing so well. Before, <laughs> Ew! Just like, wow. Not gonna get the kill there, but. Kind of, kind of clowning on him to start this one off. Yeah, be he, like, you this is like, actually kind of incredible because he's just sort of been like, no, I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this whole, whole set. I don't care if I'm behind. I'm gonna switch characters for fun. But you know, let's see if Cam can strike back. Ooh, really good call Jesus. out there. Okay, we're he back. Can't be that close to the edge. Three socks apiece. I'm still in all the Travioli. Was just like, oh, Cam, you play this character. I can play oh this one God. too. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Okay. Dude. Oh, he just barely misses it, but he still calls him out. Does he not have a jump then? Oh, he grabbed the ledge. Jesus. I'd like... This is so disgusting. Really see this kind of shift in a set where he just is like... Oh! He charges the Like, dance. if I was blind, I'd, I'd think that someone else picked up the controller, because this is wild, but... Ooh, unintentional side B. So one of the things I noticed earlier with his Sheik was that he was getting these really smart grabs and knowing when to mix and grab at the right times. And switching to Fox actually isn't totally crazy because grab in this matchup is so, so important. It kind of is how oh. Fox gets a lot of the openings. So we'll see if that play is a factor. Wow. Man, that should be it. Wait, yeah. what? Invincible shine. That was Travioli? Oh my god. Yeah, I know. It was like the craziest reversal. This is nuts. I'm just I, like, in awe. No, I, I also am finding this like very strange. I think it's very smart to wait out the transformations here. Don't go down there. No, like, no, no. No real reason to throw away center like that, but I guess he's like, I'm winning the tournament. So. I think I might have a new favorite player. Trevial is good at everyone. Do we see a switch oh to another God. character? He's going to go back to Samus for game five. Oh. Is, that... <laughs> is this happening? Like, I. No. <laughs> no way. No way. Yo, chill. No way. You got chill. Oh, my Fox. God. That was crazy, though. It's not, he's too good. Okay, so he's had some time to adapt. Jesus. Maybe he can kind of figure out what's going on, but <laughs> he, he's just, yeah, setting up combos in a really smart way, controlling center. And most importantly, he's like calling him out in a, like a lot. Like he'll, he'll wait for him to get down and he'll just do a move like up tilt. And it's just, see right here, like waits for him to go down. Oh. Waits for the edge guard, reacts, and then just up smashes. I think he's calling him out by in, on the character select screen in the gameplay. Oh God, yeah. Jesus. See what I mean? Like he, he's like, okay, you're gonna jump off ledge and I'm gonna up air you and that's the way to open you up. And then when you're the player, when you're Cam, you're like, well, hell, like, yeah, I did up air. Really good DIX up there to go for the F smash, but it doesn't get anything off of it. And that, you can't be missing those. Okay. We need a, a nice stabilization. We need Cam to find something to get his footing here because it just seems like even though he's eating up the stock there, it just seems like this is Travioli's world and Cam is just barely living in it. Okay, this is Although, what we know, need. This could be a big moment. Yeah, up air, up air again, catches Ooh. the jump. So that should be a kill if he gets it. I don't think that was STI. I think it was just poorly spaced, but it might've been STI. He gets yep, that. Right. That was a nice like palette cleanser there for Cam. Okay, oh, and he's did. gonna yep. completely clear that off. Cam finally gets back in the lead after a, a wild, wild set. And again, we're seeing Travioli opting to wait out for the transformations, which makes sense. If you're the one kind of with the momentum, why throw it away with the transformation? Mm -hmm. Ooh, this could be a big open up. Yeah, it really, it really does seem like Kem's starting to like, get that slight bit of confidence again that these big rip up smashes aren't hitting him or Kem's like, I'm going to win this one. But Travioli wants to get another in this Foxdale, shooting these lasers, continuing to just put that little bit of sauce he doesn't need to. Single it up air. Real nice. Ooh, okay, Kem's going to strike back. 
Yeah, both of these players have very solid reaction times, like, especially for Netflix, like, we're seeing them go for a lot of stuff that is just reaction-based and getting it, at least for the most part. How can he get out of the corner here? Oh, gets the hit. No, he's waiting. <laughs> oh my god. But not all of it's reaction-based. Some of it is straight up a call-out. Okay, again with the side B. Is that, that gonna cost? Oh, the tech! Amazing tech. Oh. And he still gets it. Uh, that's the problem is when you get something that's like really, really good defensively, you have this part in your brain that's like, oh, I'm alive, and then you do something <laughs> bad, like up be that close to the stage. And even the best, like literally pros do it all the time, and it's it's always kind of sad to see it. Ooh, not, okay, not safe shield pressure at all. Tech, not what you want to see. Kem finally finding his footing again. Trevial is going to need to turn on that magic again. He can't change characters already in this, oh, this game. Might be it. F tilt? No, it just barely gets it out. But Yeah, he can't be doing that anymore. Kem's caught on. shifted so significantly. This could just be it. Back air? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Can he get back? Can he Grab sneak ledge. the drift? Oh, he just Fair from the ledge? You sore? Are you sure? Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay. He almost edge cancelled that, which, okay, so... Oh, oh, he didn't need to go off stage like that. Okay. Also, not Falco. He's been changing the character too many times. Oh, okay. should this, this should be, be it. Win? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Ah, that, that was actually crazy. Can't change characters mid-game. <laughs> Bando Pepper, that's hilarious. Yeah.